I'm joined right now by the newest member of the UFC roster. It is Nakrak Pakparas. He's going to be taking on Marcin Held next week at UFC Fight Night 118 on October 21st. Nasrak, how are you? I'm good, thank you. I feel good. Oh, great. Well, I'm very uh, glad you could uh, join me here. It's uh, 2 o'clock right now in Germany, right, if I'm not mistaken? Yes, exactly. Yeah, it's about uh, 8 in the morning here in uh, Toronto, Canada, so I really appreciate this. And uh, I want to start at the beginning uh, with you and your, your backstory. Uh, you have a uh, Afghan name, but I see you were born and raised in Germany. Um, did your parents immigrate to Germany, or were they, were they originally from Germany as well? Yes, exactly. They uh, came as refugees like 30, 35 years ago to Germany, and then they started building their life here, and then, yeah. I have uh, two siblings, they're older than me, so I'm the youngest, and we all we are all born in Hamburg, Germany. Excellent, that's very cool. Um, how did you get involved in combat sports? Um, actually, I was really overweight when I was a kid, and my father said, man, you need to, you need to lose weight. And then he said, uh, maybe you should go to soccer, I tried soccer, and uh, it didn't help me, so uh, I told my father I want to do something like combat sport, like kickboxing. Then I went to the gym. Before uh, before the kickboxing class, there was the AMA class, uh, and I watched uh, like the guys sparring, and I, I was like amazed by by tattooed, shredded men with small gloves. They punch each other, you know. And then I want to do I want to do the same. So that was the reason why I started with AMA. Excellent. And uh, were you a fan of combat sports before you started training? Like, were you a fan of the UFC at all? I didn't know the UFC before. Uh, I just knew boxing. That was like eight years ago. Uh, I knew the UFC from TV, but I I thought it was some, something like a sh- uh, like show, you know, like show wrestling. I didn't know that it's uh, real fighting. And after a few years, uh, like when I was 14, uh, uh, I realized that's a real sport. And then I was amazed, like it's crazy. Because I was going to say, I know uh, mixed martial arts was banned in Germany for for a while. I know the UFC has only done a couple shows there, just because it's not really um like it's it's not really accepted there. W- would you agree with that? Yes, exactly. The German government, I think there was a lot of trouble with the TV rights and stuff like that. Uh, I can't understand that, you know, because it's the fastest growing sport in the world. And especially Germany, it's one of the uh, one of the richest countries in the world. And the people, they love uh, like combat sport, like kickboxing, boxing, you know. You see the Klitschko brothers, they are not even German, but they are superstars here, like, you know. I think they should uh, they should support the sport more so uh, AMA can grow better in Germany. Yeah, I agree with that. Um, now, are you a full time fighter, or do you have a job as well that sort of that pays all your bills and everything? Actually, uh, I live with my parents, so I'm, uh, I just turned twenty two six weeks ago. I was going to say you're pretty young. I would imagine uh, you know you're probably getting some help, so that's that's good. So, uh, but I'm studying mechanical engineering if I have time between training camps and after fights. Uh, not like full time, just to like make my friends parents proud. Of course, they are proud that I'm a fighter, but uh, I need to study, like, because I like education, you know. And so, besides fighting, I like to uh, go to university. And, uh, yeah, it's good. But, I, but I'm not worried. Like, I get support from my family, from sponsors. So, yeah. That, that's great. Um, now, do you, do you uh, take some time off school, you know, leading up to this fight now? Because now, now that you have a fight coming up, are you just going to, you know, put the books away and, and go back to studying after? Yeah, exactly. If, I, uh, I have the advantage that my university, they don't force me to come like uh, every day. Like I, I can go whenever, whenever I want uh, and sign up for exams whenever I want. So it's, it's more free, like, you know. So uh, maybe after the fight, I take uh, a few months off because I want to improve and stuff, you know. Maybe then I go to university and uh, study a little bit and then go back to training and then back to fighting like this. For sure. Um, I know you've uh, spent some time training in Montreal at a TriStar gym. How did that get set up with you training in Canada? Uh, actually, uh, all, everything started with two years ago. I went to uh, California to uh, Master Rafael Codiro to King's AMA. And he really liked us because uh, he saw that I'm re- really talented. Uh, it was, when I was 19, I had just five pro fights and uh, he said that time I'm ready for the UFC and stuff like that so it made me really happy and then, and then I went to Canada he was, like, he, he was really happy that we joined the team, trained with the guys and re, he really liked me and he even came to Germany to, to my last fight to corner me so 
that made me really happy and I'm proud of that. that that's excellent. Um, I actually live in Toronto, which is about a five hour drive from uh, Montreal. So it's uh, not too bad. Um, what did you think of, uh, you know, living in Montreal at the time when you were training? Did you, did you enjoy it? Because it's very different than other cities in Canada. Yeah, I liked it a lot. The first time, now I've been like three times to Canada in the last seven months. Uh, the first time I've been to Canada it was uh, like February. It was too cold for me, you know. Right, Germany, <laughs> it, gets pretty, it gets pretty chilly here, yeah. Yeah, this was like different kind of winter. It was minus 30 degree. It was crazy. So after we came back like in, uh, in summer, and then I really liked it because the weather is nice, the place is nice, the downtown, I like big cities, you know. And the team is amazing. We have world-class fighters, George St. Pierre. He is a good friend of mine. He even invi- uh, invited me to his private gym. We worked a lot in his private gym. Did a lot of training there. And uh, yes, so Joe Duffy, there are a lot of good guys, especially in my weight class. And I really like that. And I'm looking forward to go there again. Great. And, and uh, for, for this fight, because I know it was short notice, I guess you were training at TriStar leading up to this. Like, were you in, uh, like, I know you're in Germany now, but were, how, how soon, uh, how long ago were you in Montreal? Uh, actually, I was supposed to fight at ACB 65 uh, end of July. So right before that, I went to Canada for training camp for like more than a month. And then when I, come, I came back to, uh, to fight in England, it was in the UK, ACB 65, my opponent, he dropped a few hours before the fight. And then I didn't have a fight, but, but I, they told me that I'm going to fight soon. So I stayed in fight shape. Then we went to Thailand to have like a uh, different kind of uh, conditioning training there. And it really helped me because I had very good world-class sparring in Canada. So I thought maybe I can do a lot of conditioning in Thailand. It was re- really good for my progress. And uh, then the next fight dropped again, and I was really disappointed. But I had the feeling that I'm going to fight soon. So I stayed in shape. And now the UFC called me a few days ago, and I'm ready to go on weight. Everything is perfect. And as far as your uh, training partners at TriStar, I imagine you were training with guys like you know Joseph Duffy, Mandel Nalo, uh, fighters like that at, at TriStar? Yeah. Yes, exactly. Mendel Nello, for example. Nobody knows him, but this he's, guy... He's so good. Bellator just signed him, finally. Uh, he, he's been the best-kept secret at that gym. I played with so much UFC fighters uh, over the years. Uh, the first time I went to the USA, it was when I was 18, like four years ago. But man, this guy is something really special, especially his style, you know. And, uh, and he's a really nice guy. And uh, with Eamon Zahabi, Olivier aubin uh Joe Duffy, we have like world-class guys there. And um, even uh, Trice has a go- uh, really good world-class gym. So a lot of guys, they come from outside for a few weeks. So we help each other. So we have every time you have different kind of guys there. And that's really good for your progress. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, so we're recording this on October 11th. The fight is about a week and a couple of days away. Um, when did you find out that you had been signed to the UFC and that you were going to be making your debut next Saturday? Um, I got si- I signed my contract like two days ago, but before that, my manager told me uh, we're gonna we're gonna fight there. So he said be ready. Uh, and it was like first day when when I got the call. Yeah. So so you so so if I understand you, you were you were expecting to fight on this card. You just didn't know who you were gonna be fighting. Yeah, I had the feeling because two days before uh, Timo Pakan and he's a good friend of mine. He injured his knee. Two days before it, it got official that he's injured. I even. Uh, uh, tweet that uh, Sean Shelby should give my manager a call if somebody drops, you know, my weight class. And then two days after somebody dropped, and then it was like, you know, I believe in destiny. <laughs> yes, no, for sure. And th- that's interesting. You're friends with him because, uh, yeah, I think a lot of people saw that and they were wondering who was going to fight. And it's uh, so great that, that you ended up getting the call. Um, n- now that you've had a chance and, and you know that you're going to be fighting Marcin Held, um, how do you feel like you match up against him? I really think that he's that he's a great matchup uh, matchup for me because uh, he's a really good grappler, you know. But I see weakness in his striking. I see uh, weakness in his wrestling. I see uh, weakness in his strength conditioning. And it's gonna be a good fight. But he's of course he's experienced, you know. He fought some of the best of the best. So I don't underestimate him. It's gonna be a great fight. And how's your weight uh, cut going? Uh, getting down to 155 pounds. My wake up's great because uh, I stayed in tight shape. Uh, now I'm just like 10 pounds over. So I, I really don't cut too much weight, you know, because yeah. I, I don't think that if you cut too much weight, you have a big disadvantage, this, uh, advantage, you know, because I, I believe in skills. If you are more skilled than a guy who's bigger and heavier than you, of course, you, you're going to beat him, you know. Maybe not in the first minute, but maybe after 10 minutes because he gets out, you know. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, October 21st, how do you see this fight ending? How do you sort of see this fight unfolding with you and Marcin Held? 
I don't like to give predictions. Okay, fair enough. I want to stay humble, you know, but uh, actually I think it's going to be a great fight. Uh, I hope to, to uh, put on a war with him because I know he's world class and I like to fight, train and fight with guys who are world class. Because if you look on my record, honestly, they are not like really experienced guys. Because, for example, my last opponent dropped two hours before the fight. He had like 26 pro fights, you know. So I didn't have a chance to, to prove myself. And I'm not really happy with my last performance. So I, uh, because I tried to improve. Actually, I, I, I just want to uh, show the whole world my skills, my potential. And uh, I'm going to shock them. Yes, For sure. I, I saw on social media some people saying that you know maybe you weren't uh, you didn't deserve to get signed, but like you said, I mean it's not your fault. You're you're fighting who they give you. I, I know especially uh, you know when you're, you're coming up, you got to take whatever fights are given to you. You're not picking and choosing opponents, right? If if you look uh, on topology, there are like four cancer fights, and if you go on the records from the guys, they are like fifteen eight seven and zero. 17 and eight, and the guys they dropped, you know, and the other guys, for example, my last opponent he was five and one, but he was really, really tough, you know, he came for a fight. So maybe sometimes the people they 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 uh, care more on the record than on the fight, you know. Yeah, no, I agree. Uh, who's going to be in your corner for this fight? But this fight, Firas can't come because he's in the train camp with uh, GSP. Rafael Koderi can't come because it's too short notice from the United States, you know. I have a good friend, his name is Sam Ambrisha, he's the head coach of Ilya Tifi, Riza Madari and a few other really world-class guys. He's going to come with me and my brother. And, you know, I believe that I need, uh, I need of course, good coaches in my corner, but I, I like to have uh, positive energy, you know, because fight is a fight, everything can happen. Of course, I need professional advice, but uh, I want to have the positive energy in my corner, you know. That's what... Yeah. Excellent. Uh, last question for you before I let you go. Um, you, uh, we talked all about your fighting career. What, what are your hobbies outside of fighting? What, what, what do you like doing on your downtime? Honestly, the only only thing I'm thinking about uh, is the fighting. For, even if I'm not training, I watch fights. I try to, you know, I try to improve my mind. Uh, I read books uh, about uh, strong minds. You know, Unbeatable Mind is a great book, for example. And I try to, you know, a lot of visualizing. So that's why I'm not really surprised to sign with the UFC because I visualized like a thousand times that I'm going to sign with the UFC, you know, so. Right. The law of attraction, right? The, the more you put out there, the more you'll get back, right? Yeah. I dedicated my life to this man. So I'm going to, I'm happy to fight finally in the UFC and show my potential. Well, we can't wait for it. It's coming up here October 21st. Uh, it's UFC Fight Night 118. Uh, Nasrak, I, I can't thank you enough for doing this. Uh, just remind people where they can find you on social media. And if you have any sponsors or shout outs, the floor is yours. Actually, I just want to thank my management, uh, Dominance MA management, my team, Kings MA, Trisa, my brother, Hejo, and everybody who supports me. I really appreciate it, and I uh, try to make